Yeah, it's your boy. The insurance junkie. Your fiduciary fella. The all star advisor Alonzo Hall. Never turn the head weapon tap on your head with another ADH wealth solution. Today, I want to look at another private uh, insurance group I belong to on Facebook. Uh, and I want to read something here. Um, and this is actually a good question because, again, I want to start bringing stuff to, uh, to the eyes of the consumer. Um, so this behind-the-scenes stuff is good for you guys to see. Before I go in, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you hit that like, drop a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So you're made aware every time I release new content. And as always, share, share, share. Lastly, to contribute to channel growth or to schedule an appointment with a licensed financial professional, the links are in the description of this video. As we proceed to give you what you need. So let's look here. This agent says, all right, guys, help me out with this one. Remember, I am an agent too, so I'm on your side. However, I'm struggling to see how this is a good deal. As an experiment in my own finances, I called Guardian to see about the ins and outs of cash of taking cash out of a whole life policy. First and foremost, there's only about $9,000 in cash value in this particular policy. So I asked what my options were if I wanted to access $5,000 of it. The rep told me I could take a policy loan at 8% and decide whether or not I want to pay it back. She did warn me that some folks never pay the loan back and it can spiral out of control. She had one client who took out $5,000 and turned it into a $40,000 indebtedness some years later that would either have to be paid back or taken out of the debt benefit. Someone please help me understand how that is a good deal as a retirement asset. This was an education exercise, so I did not take any money out, but I have to admit, it has made me question the retirement aspects of cash value life insurance. I certainly believe in the value of permanent insurance, but I'm really questioning the retirement income benefits. Every dollar I arguably use for retirement via loan benefits reduces the viability of the life insurance for my surviving beneficiaries. What am I missing? So I didn't read the entire uh, post before I commented. He says 5K turned into 40K however many years. One reason not to use a carrier with an 8% rate. Penn Mutual has a 4%, Mass Mutual has a 5% IUL, a different discussion we all have to learn. And again, ladies and gentlemen, this is why um, it does depend sometimes on the carrier. Um, but again, the carrier doesn't matter. You really want to know uh, what the rep is looking for. So I prefer this rep um, because those percentages are about average. I tell people it's 7% all the time when it's really only about 4%. Um, so this says, you're missing a lot, you brought the wrong poli kind of policy to borrow from, that rent recognition policies are not uh, for average people, Guardian and Northwest Western Mutual, for example. Uh, New York Life Emeritus and Mass Mutual, example, all better options due to lower loan rates and non-direct recognition of dividends, so you can take your time paying back the loan. Um, it says, so let's start if the strategy is to use the cash value to fund the retirement, then the first thing to do is find a company who uses uh, a wash loan. Typically, that's on not well, but it's important so the loans don't eat the policy alive. Um, and then he says, next, you probably want a policy with an increasing death benefit rather than level as it allows for more max funding cash value. You do reduce the death benefit, uh, but by... Uh, by which you withdraw, but uh, the death benefit wasn't the purpose here anyway. Third, you're also going to want to make sure that there is still some cash value in the policy on the date of death. Mostly, this is to prevent a tax complication, but leaving some death benefit behind is also a benefit. Uh, there are those who will sell life as a retirement vehicle solely. Personally, I believe if there isn't a life need, uh, then it's not the right product. Although there is almost always a life need, meaning there's always a need for life insurance. Uh, and then here I comment and it says, uh, tax deferred access, uh, tax deferred access and use tax free. Never have to pay back the loan as it's paid from the death benefit. Free cash, which is why they don't let us call these money contracts, but force us to call it life insurance. So I also want to add also the other.
So, my last comment here, uh, it says, uh, um, as mentioned prior, the policy would be overfunded or properly structured and have an increase in death benefit. That likely will leave a death benefit for the family. Although the reality is that uh, that policy is not meant for a death benefit, which is another reason as to why the wealthy insure one life at least seven times. Uh, and then, you know, there's some res responses here, but I'm not going to go through all, all those responses. At any rate, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for today. Make sure you hit that like, drop a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're made aware every time I release new content. And as always, share, share, share. Lastly, to contribute to channel growth or to schedule an appointment with a licensed financial professional, the links are in the description of this video. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, wipe ass, work in progress every day and see success. And remember folks, when people challenge you, they don't challenge you to challenge you, but they challenge you to challenge you. Accept the challenge. Salute, 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 salute. <clears throat> Real quick folks, actually I want to um, risk, uh, go back through this because right after I finished recording the first portion of the video, somebody did respond. Uh, to my uh, response and he says $40,000 death benefit hit for a $5,000 loan yeah that seems reasonable lol and so I responded well because this is unfortunately what you as the consumer get pushed to with things like real estate because again uh, oftentimes in these commission sale positions people are in it for the money and not always to give you the best advice so check this out. I said, yes, Russell Denny, uh, $40,000 death benefit hit for a $5,000 loan. Yeah, that seems reasonable. And then I said, yes, over the course of how much time? Also, have you heard of this thing called a mortgage? Pretty much the exact same thing. However, when you access the equity from that home, you have to guarantee and pay back that loan. Obviously, also you have to show proof of ability to pay back that loan. Meaning you, if you're 60 and want to access that $5,000 loan, got to show you got a job. Or if you're 65, you got to show you got a job to be able to access that, uh, pay back that loan over the course of terms, of length of term, of with which uh, that loan is broken down into. Uh, and then I said, meanwhile, in that bad deal with life insurance, all you had to do was have had that cash value available aka have paid the premium over time which is the exact same thing or exactly what you do when paying back your mortgage to build that said equity i'm just saying bro so basically what i broke down to him was this hey listen guys if you want to build equity in your house build equity in your cash value life insurance because when you want to borrow or get access to cash how do you access cash from your house it's either through a cash out refi uh, or a HELOC, which is a home equity loan line of credit. So you have to either take that loan and the only way to fully liquidate is to sell the house. So if you sell the house, you no longer have the asset, right? Now, that means if you die, you can't pass it on and then your family sell it and get whatever money from it, right? Now, maybe that's the same thing with the life insurance, but... If you don't sell and you die, you haven't left them any money to pay for this now burden, not asset. Whereas with the life insurance, hey, listen, I have this access to this cash. I want to borrow. I borrow. I never pay it back. I die. It just comes out of the death benefit. Anyway, that's going to be it for today, ladies and gentlemen. White ass, work in progress every day and see success. Salute.